Yeah, right. Okay. So Lara? Um Okay. Um What should my primary focus be right now? Oh. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> <clears throat> I think, yeah, I need to choose how to have, I need to choose to have a timeout with my patterns and yeah, work on my resiliency. like value the fact that I, I do know um, how to be resilient. I am a resilient person and I can, I've got my resources, stop falling into my, even my timeout patterns, me having timeout with myself is just the, yeah, it's kind of a thing. I pace back and forth when I'm unsure of where I'm going. It's really hard to get into my flow. But, um, yeah, that's kind of what I see. Yeah, resilience has been a big one. Like the, just the word has come up. I've got it written down in different places around me. Like just be resilient. Um, so yeah, it totally makes sense. Open to the group. Yeah. I mean, what I would suggest is, I mean, you're taking a big time out right now. I mean, you're, mm -hmm. you're in the middle of a, of basically a battle and, um, for the next month until the owner comes back, you're, you're basically taking a time out because I can imagine this is the biggest thing on your mind, right? There's nothing else really there and to be resilient and to really know that you're standing in your right place and, uh, that you will win. Um, I will win. In the face yeah. of. Uh, for anyone else doesn't act like the the manager of her space has evicted her so very let but the owner doesn't know about it mm -hmm. and trying to and now wants to spend money to get rid of me so that makes a whole other issue right i don't highly doubt any owners want to pay for that because my proposal to them is all about not them paying for anything and me just and things just give me a nice give me a better rent uh a new rental agreement basically yeah mm -hmm. does anyone have question intuition or uh insight well the time out for me because it's very green and resilience is very green like that's the heart chakra, right? Um, and that just like, you know, just take out time, take time out for your heart just to chill out and relax and, you know, breathe into, you know, the most beautiful strategy because it, it's, it's saying a new strategy, a change in plan. So maybe changing some old patterns um, allowing resilience to help you bounce off this experience, um, but mm -hmm. coming somehow into your heart to really take care of yourself. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a big thing. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if any of you have been using it this week, but I find that uh, there's been a few times this week where I didn't know the answer to a question. Mm -hmm. And I just popped it in there. And I, I find I'm using the question side a lot more than the divine side now. Mm -hmm. and, well, um, mm. go ahead. I've also been using the question side a lot, but just now it's like sometimes, you know, I also like using the divine question because sometimes uh, the divine question is going to give me more insight into, you know, the direction, what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So I just, for example, I did a, just did a reading myself on my laptop and I divined a service question and it's like, okay, so, okay, so I'm here to be of service in the new paradigm toolkit. And I clicked on service question. The question came up was, how can I help the most people? The value I got was duty. Um, the conversation card is a creativity conversation building uh, all the conversations that occur to build a specific product or gift. And the choice lens that I got was compromise. So, um, and that's, you know, that's something that I'm weighing constantly right now is what I have to compromise. Um, yeah, so you know, this is, it's just telling me where I'm at. And I, I kind of like that. I like the divining a question one because I don't always come up with the right questions for myself. I haven't really tried the divine a question too much. I should try it. <clears throat> I do have another question too, if we could put in another one for, uh, what is my best next step forward with the new paradigm to toolkit? I was thinking that would be a good question to ask. Mm. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it changes like because I just asked the same question because I'm doing the Zoom on my phone and I have it set up on my laptop here. So I just asked the same question. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I got, of course, it's different than what you got, uh, Elijah. Is you, is you, are you using it on the phone? Yeah. Can, you see it on the, can anyone do, see this on the phone, their own phone? I can see it on my phone, yeah. And it, yeah, we're it, on my phone. Oh, the, oh, the choose a remedy on the phone? No, I'm doing choose a remedy on my laptop okay. and the Zoom on my phone. Mm. So what do you think that means, Lara? Well, I think that, yeah, the pressure's on, just so I gotta... <laughs> You know, like, just do it. Why is everything so slow? Because um, I'm slow. I'm like a turtle. I need to make, yeah, a plan to really start instructing people how to do it. So I guess, you know what? I'm going to value pressure and I'm going to be like, Elijah, okay, I need to put pressure on you to help me with this plan so that I can instruct. <laughs> so basically I, I was thinking about it earlier, like, yeah, um, maybe even more training. Maybe I need more training in certain things or um, I 
access to the conversation. So on the website right now, there's 72 blogs. Um, well, that doesn't help. Right? I, out of every conversation type, I'm making a blog. Mm -hmm. But at some point, if you want to go through the website and see which conversation types that you like, at some point, there's going to be one person in charge of each blog based upon okay. the conversation type. And so then within the, hopefully, when they get a spell, and it goes to designing convo, there'd be write a blog, click that, and then they would go to here, and then the spell would come up, and then they would write what's the answer. So at some point, we've got all this data being inputted from the program into the central reference point, where we're building up our knowledge base in terms of the conversation types, the values, and the, the conceptual lenses. So right now, I'm just working on the background of the the website to put all the stuff in there looks good and then uh like all the value cards have like if you click the value card then it gets to here so you, they have get training so you click here and then that would be a connection to the school of conscious communication where you get training and acceptance and then there's just one like i usually find a ted talk or something if they want to watch a video after seeing the value to get a little bit of training and then this is just the beginning of sort of creating that layer of where they go. And then the, the other layers are finding like who's teaching acceptance. And so the idea being that each of us at some point is designing what we want to teach and how we want to teach it. Mm -hmm. And then at some point, this program is bringing people to us as it gets more and more popular. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, um... I like that. I think that's really cool. I think for each one of those things, in a way, like with the Ninny News and what I want to do is like explaining each of these words or these values in some way. So maybe what I could start trying to focus on is making little uh, videos or like, yeah, little example videos of what that value means or like and using it in context. And maybe that's, and then I can also use it for than any news as well as a, you know, um, as a part of it. So that could get me going in the right direction with both things simultaneously. I like that. Yeah, for sure. If, if anyone wants to start making videos, explaining things. Cool. Yeah, yeah, explaining it, like doing instructional videos. Yeah. So plan to make instructional videos um, and put pressure on myself to do it. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure is on for all the things to come together and yeah okay i like that one that's a good one it's making me feel better, I feel better. okay you guys still want to stick around how about we have a round from everybody and maybe uh set a goal for the week of uh something you'd like to get accomplished i want to know what brooks laughing at we just got a car for a place to live. I just uh -huh. <laughs> That's how it works. That's it how it works. We, it, was yeah. exact, it was like the one that we like all kind of really wanted. We're like, it was email right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we could get a pretty good reputation if uh, the remedy starts to work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> So a place well, to no, look at or a place to that you actually got? Did you already look at it? No, I think it just came in when they oh, were. Not the one to, it, we don't have it, but she just called us back to be able to take a look at it. But we literally just emailed her like less than an hour ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna feel that relief. <laughs> oh, yay. God, the hell. Uh -huh. Okay, so starting with you, Nova. Uh, <clears throat> yes, I suppose my goal uh, centered around these meetings and our work together uh, is to complete uh, the save as functionality. Um, kind of tweak and polish up the look of it as far as screen sizes and positions and stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to 
also keep another goal open to the universe and perhaps Elijah's instruction during this week. All right, thank you, Jordan. I'd like to have, um, I'm intending to create some type of like media showcase that I can show up the progress of these videos next meeting so that you can actually see the content that's being created for them. All right, fantastic. Uh, Lindsay? <laughs> Sorry, we we're really excited about the house and we we're just checking out the ad again. I missed what you just said. Uh, it's, it's more kind of like a goal for the week. What would you like to accomplish? Oh, geez. What do you what do you need from me at this moment? Um, might be nice to have someone go through the website and just see what's happening there, because I'm using a lot of symbolic pictures and just to see if, if it fits or doesn't fit. OK, um, if you send me the link for the website, just in Facebook chat, then I can definitely go through that and give you my thoughts. Okay, yeah, both you and Brooke could do that. That'd be great. Yeah, sweet. Sounds great, Elijah. All right, Lori? Um, I wrote that down too to review that website, just to have a look at it from my perspective. So I'll do that. But my goal is to do a few more maps, like just individual maps with people, just to get practicing more and see how everything fits together. And then can we sample and use this bell? If I'm working with somebody doing a map just for fun, can we do a spell? Like, can I pull it up? Okay. okay. I haven't done that yet. So, so choose a remedy.com. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Do you know what? <coughs> um, hmm. I guess my goal for this week could be maybe to reach out to Lori mm -hmm. and to Lara, Lara, sorry, um, about ideas around um, those two things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I haven't written down. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because Lara had Lara had some ideas about the products for an Indiegogo campaign. And maybe Lori can help me with um, that process around building a business plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Lara? Okay. Um, yeah, so my goal for the week, I guess, <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, maybe talk to you and figure out, and Shanoa about figuring out what the packages may look like. Um, yeah, so the like packages and then maybe uh, plan out some type of schedule for myself that keeps me in a, um, in a focused state around maybe, yeah, that just got me excited to do the, um, to help out with making little videos mm. on planning. So that, that really piqued my creativity. So I wanna work on that. Uh, this week and then yeah um. well and also what you said about you know George, George. <laughs> I want to work on not being so afraid too and like working through my fear like being able to like get past it instead of like being so yeah molasses well I think what you did was a very courageous thing and you, you stood your ground and now you you've got your strategy in place and he's got to, you know, he's going to come back with his own move, but you, you did the move, right? So mm -hmm. uh, I, I it's think hard, that- hard to be, for me personally, to be in a space of um, somebody hating me and standing my ground. Uh, I usually am rather like more of the mouse and just wants to, you know, have fun and, you know, skirt my way around from conflict. I really don't like conflict and it's like really trying to step forward in that fear, but it's hard. So. Mm. I'd like but to also add that your uh, ability like to create a new paradigm toolkit custom design, I can't wait to see what you come up with because you know I've just seen so many beautiful creative designs from you that are you know very unique. And uh, I think that you'll do something amazing at some point. Uh, perhaps when you don't feel the androcles sword over your head. 
Well, yeah, maybe it's, maybe it's that that helps me get through it, you know, having a main focus, having, you know, yeah, making a creative thing, because that always helps me, either I'm dancing through something or I, I make something really cool and it's like, aha, look at that. And then I feel way better. I'm waiting for that. Mm. So maybe, yeah, making individual toolkits for people, I think would be really cool. Mm. Uh, just, yeah. And then, oh yeah, I was also thinking like, maybe through this, like in this group, we should all, I should make one for everybody, mm. you know? So um, yeah, what kind of briefcase would you like? Think about that first. Like what, what is your personal style briefcase? Is it like a black square one or is it one of those like, you know, what the heck is in that kind of briefcase or like a travel briefcase or like, a, um, yeah, what color would it be? What would you, what would you see your perfect briefcase business, you know, new pair of new pair uh very secret plan briefcase what would you like mm. how would it look like maybe if anyone ever could let me know that that would be cool and then i will help mm -hmm. i think that's a great idea and i think you know one of the maybe main goals of the the team should be for everyone to get their own card set with that with what you come up with because of course we got to start to use the tools to, to do something with them so i think if we all got the tools and that would be pretty useful, right? So um, that sounds like a, a good goal for the for the whole group to kind of move towards. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you guys, when you say the tools, is that all the cards and the maps and how much is there a list of the toolkit and what's in it? Yeah, there's like <laughs> card sets, maps, um, shaker. Uh, a shaker, what? some glasses, three D glasses. Oh, okay. Okay. and um and then i want to add what it like a different pocket or something that uh, certainly people could use like say you're a person that carries a diary that's like this mm -hmm. or like square and you know like or maybe it's yeah. a really big, big sheet of paper that you like to fit um you know something that you yeah what else do you carry around in your like special kit that you would cool. use that you wouldn't leave house, but the house without, you know? <laughs> okay, well, thank you everyone for coming today. That was a great meeting and uh, great to see everybody. It's uh, always wonderful to see everyone in here and we shall see each other next Sunday. Have a great week. Okay, one thank you, quick, Elijah. One more quick thing before we leave. What does it cost for us to have Zoom where we don't have to keep quitting and tapping back in? Oh, but yeah. Let's consider that because, yeah, I just yeah. think it'd be better. Right. I'm sorry, guys. I was going to pay for that this week, and then I didn't. Okay. Awesome. It would be. It would make more sense. Yeah, yeah. we'll get that sorted out this week. Sorry about that. Wonderful. No problem. We thank Bye, you. Everybody.